On a recent trip to Japan, I couldn't help but notice their walls of erasers. And I couldn't help but think, what is the difference between all of these erasers? In total, I bought 69 erasers, just under 10,000 yen. That's about $100. The prices in this video will be in yen. That said, let's try these 69 Japanese erasers. I cannot wait because there are some weird ones in here. So we are going to start off with our block erasers or whatever you want to call these basic looking erasers. I don't know. So once again, we have our chart of different tests we are going to do. I've simplified it compared to last time. We are just going to do some simple pencil tests, some colored pencil tests, and an ink test because I do want to make sure when I do my line art, it doesn't erase my lines. Also, the paper I am using today is Stonehenge Multimedia Paper. And the ink I am using is Sakura Pigma Pens, and the pencils are Prismacolor. The pencil is Pentel HB. I've done my best to get the brands. I'm very confused by a lot of these. It's like a company owns a company owns a company. Some of them are Sakura, but then there's a different name that's bigger and I get really confused. Some of them I can't even read the type. So I'm going to show the packaging of all of these and then you guys can maybe figure it out if you know some Japanese. I don't know. Some of these erasers aren't even meant for what I'm doing, but I can't read Japanese that well. So I just kind of grabbed every eraser I could find. I think I even have a few duplicates. We will see. Okay, let's just start because I am anxious to try these Japanese erasers. We're gonna start off with Seed, the Radar S60 for 60 yen. And I have to say, I'm quite impressed right off the bat. It completely got rid of the light pencil test. The heavier pencil test, it mostly got rid of and it kind of struggled with the heaviest pencil test, but it did pretty dang well. Not so much on the color, but I'm not really worried about that one. Right. The main reason why I even have a color test is because some of these erasers are specifically for colored color, colored color, colored pencil. And then the ink test, I do want to make sure that it's not getting rid of the ink, which it did a little bit, but honestly, it's not that bad. Our next eraser is another Seed Radar. It's 100 yen. I don't know if there's really a difference between this eraser and the previous one. Maybe the most teeniest of detail difference? They did seem to perform exactly the same, so I don't know. Our next Seed Radar for 100 yen seems to have done a little bit better, and it was definitely more firm than the other two. And I like my firm erasers more than my soft ones. Next up is the Seed CP10 for 100 yen. This one is definitely very, very firm. On the back of the package, you can see that it says it's for B to 6B lead. I think that's what that says. I am actually using HB today. And honestly, it's kind of the same with the others, though it did do a lot better with the colored pencil. Next up is the Seed Radar SG100 for 100 yen. I really like the way this one feels and it seems to be about on par for performance with the last couple of Seed. It seems like they are getting better. Maybe price matters. Next up is the seed, I think it's called 6B. For 100 yen, it seems to have done the best. And the eraser dust kind of kept as one chunk, so that was very nice. I do not like the erasers that pretty much turn into sand. Some sticky erasers tend to do that. Next up is the seed radar light for 100 yen. They just keep getting firmer, and I didn't think I liked them really firm, but they seem to be doing better. I don't know what light means, maybe you don't have to press down as hard, but it did really well either way. Next is the Seed CPG 100 4 color 100 yen eraser. I was kind of excited to see if this one actually worked really well on colored pencil, but it doesn't... I mean, it did a little better, but it doesn't seem to be great. I didn't press down really hard with my colored pencil. As you can see, it's not like, you know, I don't know. Still not a bad eraser though. Next is the Seed Radar Line for 120. It's got some very firm cardboard to help it stay firm, which I do like. As far as performance goes, it's about the same, though I think it's a little worse than the past few. Something I am noticing about Japanese erasers is that they don't seem to affect the ink too much, which is really good. Also, didn't see any of those pink pearl erasers that you see a lot in the North, the North America. Maybe, maybe they realize they are crappy erasers. <laughs> Next up, we have the Kokuyo Risare Premium Type for 129 yen. It's definitely better than the previous eraser. It actually might be one of the best. A little firm, but still smooth. Next up is Rabbit. I think it's by the brand Sakura. It is the W Foam Eraser 3-pack for 129 yen. It is very smooth on the paper. I do like it, and I do like the small size. And once again, top three erasers. It did really well. Next up is Kokuyo again with a Campus 2B eraser for 108 yen. It did good, felt good. Overall, good eraser. 
getting into the Pintel erasers, we have an Ein High Polymer 2-pack for 120 yen. It's a lot more firm and it doesn't seem to be doing as well as the others. Also, it got rid of quite a bit of ink, so that's not good. So these next three Pentel Ein erasers, I honestly thought they were different when I bought them because their packages were just a little different. And then I started to think that they were the exact same eraser when I came home and looked at them. But honestly, each one did feel different. I don't know if my mind is just playing tricks on me. The black one did seem a little smoother, though it seems like they all perform about the same. Though I will say it seemed like the black one was smearing some blackness on the paper just a little bit, which... I wouldn't prefer, I guess, to happen. Next up is the Pintel Ein Sala for 100 yen. It is very firm and it feels pretty good. I gotta say, compared to the American eraser test, these are doing a lot better overall, I think. Next is the Pintel Kirari Soft for 100 yen. It does well. It is soft, so if you do like softer erasers, this one's a little squishy and a little bit more bendable. Next up is the Pintel Mark Sheet for 100 yen. It, it doesn't do great, but one thing I did notice about this eraser is that it's called Mark Sheet, which means this eraser is made specifically for those multiple choice tests, like the ones you buy a sheet specifically for in college. Can you imagine buying an eraser specifically to take tests? Honestly, that sounds really depressing, but here we are. Next we have the Pentel Super Multi Hard for 200 yen. It is the worst so far. It is very grainy and sandy, so I don't know if it's for specific pins or something. It did get rid of my pin a little bit more than the other erasers, but it didn't get rid of it so much that I would think it was for pins. So I don't know what this is for. Actually, let me Google it. Okay, so upon some Googling, I think this is actually for a specific ballpoint pen, which I don't have, so... Waste of a test, but at least you know how this works with pencil, right? Here, let's test this on some random cheap ballpoint pen I have. Nope. I think you need that specific Pentel pen. Next, we are getting into Tombow. This is the Mono Air Touch for 100 yen. It does pretty well. It's a little firm. It does create a lot of eraser dust, though which I'm not about. Next is the Tombow Mono Dust Catch for 100 yen, which means it does create less eraser dust, which is nice. It didn't do amazing, but it did pretty well, though it did a little bit of damage to the ink, which I don't like. Next up, we have the Tombow Mono Smart for 100 yen. Again, it seems to be doing worse, Tombow. What's happening, buddy? Next up is this cool Tombow Mono that has sand on one side and rubber on the other. So I used the sand on the top and the rubber on the bottom. The sand definitely picked up a lot of ink though. It's not really erasing the ink entirely, so I'm not really sure what you would use it for. Maybe just to, I don't know, I, I don't know. <laughs> Overall, both sides performed about the same. I think the rubber just did less damage to the ink is all. Next up is a Mitsubishi Uni High Quality for 100 yen. Honestly, this one did really well like super well, and it was very smooth, so I do like that. Next up is the Mitsubishi Uni Mark Sheet for 100 yen. It did better than the Mark Sheet from Pentel, so that's good, I guess, though I'm not using this on a Mark Sheet, so what's the point? Not sure what to say about it. It's not really meant for drawing, so I don't know. If you need an eraser, it's still good. Next up is the Mitsubishi Uni Palette for 100 yen. A really good eraser. It creates not a lot of eraser dust. It's very smooth. I think I'm finding out that I really like Mitsubishi branded stuff, but we don't really have that in North America. So far, I really do like the Pentel, and we do have Pentel here, so that's good. Just not in all of these brands. Our last Mitsubishi is the Uni Kakikata. I'm not really sure if that's even what this is called. 100 yen, it was so smooth and almost slippery-like, and it did really well, so that was a really interesting eraser. It looks childish, but it worked really well. Also, can I just say, it's so silly how a lot of the back of these erasers have a place to put your name. Like, I would lose this before someone found it and replaced it to me. Next up, we have the Pilot Foam Eraser for 80 yen. It did pretty good, except for the ink. It really took a lot out of it, which I can't accept. Our next Pilot Foam Eraser is a 100 yen, and I think it did perform a little bit better, and it especially didn't hurt the ink like the previous one. So 20 yen go a long way. <laughs> next up is the smallest little Stadler Rassoplast Eraser for 64 yen. 
honestly probably the top five worst erasers. It's firm, but it doesn't seem to be doing the job. Our next Sadler eraser is the PVC Free for 86 yen. It only does slightly better than the previous Stadler eraser. It is so smooth and glides across the paper, but if you're not going to erase, get the heck out of my face. Hey. Next we have a Sakura Arch foam eraser for 100 yen. It did pretty good. It did smear some of the colored pencil around and it did get rid of the ink, which is funny because it's the same brand ink. Next up is the same thing, I think, but in black form. I swear they feel different. But I don't know, I think it might be a mind thing. It felt smoother, but it probably wasn't. I think it might be the same exact eraser, but in black. Speaking of the same, I'm pretty sure this next Sakura Arch foam eraser is exactly the same thing. Just a smaller version of the white one. Whoops. So our next eraser, I think, is just a sort of silly decorated one. It's from Pilot. It's 100 yen. It says bad girl on it. And honestly, for just like a goofy looking little eraser, it doesn't do bad. Not the best, not the worst. Next up, we have a Rabbit by Sakura Foam Eraser Pure Slim for 100 yen. It works really well, though I do wish the cardboard around it was a little firmer. The eraser is so soft that it bends around a lot and it just needs a little bit more support. Next is this Moni W Air in Plus Plastic for 100 yen. Not much to say about it, it felt pretty basic, it, it performed alright, I guess. Not the top 5 or anything. Next up, I couldn't find the brand, but it's a Karatachi Machi for 64 cents, nope, yen. And it is very smooth, but it kind of feels plasticky, so it kind of smeared everything around, which I don't really like. It's a cheap eraser, so I guess you can expect it to be weird. Next up is the Hino de Washi Matomaru Kun for 100 yen. It felt clunky and just overall not a good feel. I guess it did okay for an eraser, maybe just more for school use. Next is Trees Air In for 100 yen. Once again, just another basic eraser. It kind of faded the ink a little bit. Overall, average. Next is the Lyra, don't know what it's called, for a 100 yen. I'm not really sure what this eraser is going for with each side. The blue one is, I think, more grainy? But it didn't really seem to do much except maybe get rid of the ink a little bit more. Overall, both sides just really smeared this around. I'm glad we could end on a bit of a higher note. We have a Plus Omni 2H2HB for 108 yen. It does work pretty well. Nothing really feels special about it though. It's an okay eraser. And for the last of the block erasers, we have a Pokemon eraser, which I got from the Pokemon Center in Tokyo. 129 yen. It is pretty basic. It's not bad. Honestly, for something branded like this, I would expect bad, but we're in Japan where they probably care more about quality than we do. Next up we have the mechanical erasers or stick erasers. We're going to start off with a Seed Radar Knock. For 108 yen, it doesn't do a bad job, though you can kind of see a little bit of the pencil there, and the ink did fade a little bit. Next up, the Seed Slendy Plus for 108 yen. It does a little bit worse than the previous Seed, though I do like how much more firm it is, and that flat shape is a lot easier to hold than the round one. Next up, the Mitsubishi Knock Medium for 100 yen. It is probably the best one yet. Though personally, I do like the harder erasers better. The Kokuyo Reser for 100 yen. It is definitely firmer, though I think it might be too firm for me. Though it did really well and it didn't really affect the ink much either. The first of our Tombow is the Mono Knock 3.8. It's very firm and it keeps the dust in one piece, which is nice, but it didn't do super great. The first of these tiny little Tombow guys is the Mono One Dust Catch for 150 yen and it does indeed keep a one piece dust which is really nice and honestly the best one yet and also it's just so tiny and cute i love these little guys plus they have a little notch at the end so they don't roll away off your desk that is pretty cool the next little guy is the mono one air touch at 150 yen honestly i love how you don't really have to press down with this little guy you barely touch the paper and start rubbing and it does a really good job erasing so i really like these tiny things the third tiny Tombow is the Mono One, and I'm not really sure what it's called. 
It's just a plastic eraser. 150 yen, and honestly, all three of these little guys seem to be working the exact same. I think it just depends on how hard or soft you like your erasers. So far, the Air Touch is my favorite. This one was a little rough for me. And our final little Tombow guy, Mono One Plastic Eraser. I'm not sure what it's called again. 162 yen, I apologize, it's off screen. And it did perform exactly the same as the others. It was kind of a combination between the soft and rough eraser, but between the four little guys, the Air Touch was my favorite. Our last Tombow stick eraser is the Mono Stick for 200 yen, and it is doing the best so far. I really like this guy. I like all these Tombow guys. Next up is the first of the Pintel. We have the Ein Click for 150 yen. It is very smooth. I do like that, smooth yet firm. And it's just about on par with the Tombow. Maybe not as good with the colored pencil, but it didn't hurt the ink as much. Our next Pintel is the Click Eraser for 700 yen, our priciest yet. It is meant for ballpoint pens, but I went ahead and tried it out with the pencil just for laughs. As usual, it did horrible. So I went ahead and put down some ballpoint pen to see if it would work with that. It didn't really do very well. I don't know if you need a pen tell certain ballpoint pen brand. I can't read the packaging on these, but there you go. Maybe it was entertaining, I don't know. Next up is the Pentel Click Eraser Hyper Eraser for 700 yen. I don't know if this one's also for ballpoint pens, but it didn't do great with the pencil, so I'm hoping. Look, let's just go ahead and put some ballpoint pen down for both of these and see what happens. Not a whole lot. <laughs> and our last stick or mechanical eraser is the Pentel Click Eraser for Pro. At 500 yen, it definitely does a lot better than the previous two, which I think were both for ballpoint pens. I'm really not sure. They were definitely both rough, and this one is much more smoother and rubberier. It did better, but it didn't do as good as the Tombow or the Pentel Ein Click. Though I have to say, listen to the way these Pentel Click Erasers click. That's a nice sound. I like it. Okay, well, that was that for our mechanical erasers. I definitely like those tiny little Tombow guys. They were very nice. Probably the only ones I really liked out of these. Oops. Our next category is the kneaded erasers. Our first kneaded eraser is Seed Brand. It's normal type. It was 100 yen. It kneads very firmly, so I kind of like that. Though I'm not sure what sort of erasing it can do. It seems like a lot of these kneaded erasers are specifically for pastels, so something to keep in mind. As usual, my Japanese isn't the best, so I've probably missed a lot of information on these erasers. The Artin kneaded eraser, or high speed cleaner, at 200 yen does about the same as the seed brand, though it doesn't seem to be doing as much damage to the ink. Again, a very hard, firm, need there. The IC brand Easy Cleaner at 216 yen. I really like the way it feels. It's a lot more dense and sturdy. And performance-wise, it does the best so far. I like the need on this one. The Ekin Art Char Paste Eraser looks and feels like clay. It erases the pencil really well, I gotta say. Though it did wear the ink down a little bit. And it's a little bit on the harder side to need. Next up is Bumpoto, the Artist Cleaner Eraser. Bumpoto is the store brand. I don't like the way it feels. It's a little soft for me, though it does seem to be doing quite well. And it didn't really seem to pick up ink much. That is that for our kneaded erasers. I think the IC Easy Cleaner was my favorite. Our last category is the miscellaneous erasers and weird shapes. The first of our miscellaneous erasers is the Mitsubishi or Uni Super Eraser Medium at 100 yen. I actually really like this guy. I have one like this from Muji. It does pretty well too. Didn't do too much damage to the ink and it got rid of a lot of pencil. Good job. No worries about the eraser dust because next is our Stadler Mars Racer for 270 yen. It sounds disgusting. It doesn't really do a good job. It's so rough feeling. It definitely makes the paper feel rough afterwards, but I gotta say, the thing that drew me to it was the little brush on the other end. It's adorable. You know, to sweep your eraser dust away. Next up is the Seed Anitas for 100 yen. It's got a very weird structure to it, not sure why. I'm sure there's some sort of eraser technology there. It does a really good job with the pencil, even the colored pencil gets a little bit done to it. 
though the ink does suffer a little. Next up is the Kokuyo Miri Keshi for 100 yen. This is the most interesting shaped eraser. It's made so that you can choose your thickness. Do you want to erase a big space at a time or do you want to do small little details? That is so cool. I love this eraser. It does a pretty good job too. And the ink survived. Next up is the Pilot Friction, I think. After I did some research, I realized it was for erasing, I think, a specific erasable pen. Don't have it. But you know what? For laughs, we just went ahead and did it on the pencil, and it did horrible. Not even surprising. It doesn't seem to work on other inks, though, so just for your information, there you go. Next up is an unknown brand. It's just a regular old cap eraser. It doesn't do a bad job, it even did some damage to the colored pencil, and the ink kind of went away. Overall, I do think the Peel Away Eraser was my favorite out of this batch, though I really do like that Kokuyo Mirikeshi for little details. That would be so cool to use in the future. Overall, I do seem to think that Japanese erasers do perform a little bit better than the Western ones. I think for the most part, I like the block erasers the most out of all of these which is kind of sad because I really do like using stick erasers more than anything. If I were to choose another kind of eraser, I did really like the mono stick ones. So those are pretty nice too, as well as the little tiny mono stick ones. I really like those little guys, especially because they're very small and handy. And I do like that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed another silly video where I tried entirely too many erasers. Now I have a lot of erasers. All right, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.